In this experiment, I want to see if our thoughts can affect the world around us. You've probably heard people say that our thoughts shapes our reality, and it's this I want to put to the test. This experiment will show that thoughts are vibrations and have different frequencies, and thus affect our circumstances. The late researcher Dr. Masaru Emoto conducted a study lasting many years to see if human consciousness can affect the molecular structure of water. In his research, he exposed water to different words, pictures and songs, and then froze the water to examine it with microscopic photography. The water exposed to positive speech and thoughts resulted in beautiful crystal formations, and the water exposed to negative speech and thoughts gave ugly crystal formations. Granted, his research has been criticized for both right and wrong reasons. Personally, I keep an open mind. The rice experiment I'm about to try it's not a very scientific approach, obviously, and it doesn't really prove anything, but it's a very interesting experiment nonetheless, and it seems to be working every single time. Since rice absorbs water when you cook it, you can basically conduct the same research Dr. Masaru did. I approached the experiment by purchasing three brand new glass containers. I cooked some rice and added the exact same amount of rice in each container. And every day for about two months, I'd spend 60 seconds per container telling them either negative or positive things. The container marked love. I'd say nice things such as you're awesome and I love you. And to the container marked hate. I'd say horrible things such as you don't deserve to live and you make me sick and go and kill yourself and the container marked ignore I do just that. It's been about nine weeks now and it's finally over and I'm happy to tell you that it's a success all right and this is what happened. All right, so the container marked with love is it's in quite good shape. It's a little it's a little yellow, but I'd probably eat it. All right. And the container marked hate is it's in bad shape. All right. This is quite disgusting. There's no way I would even touch this. The container marked ignore is it's in better shape than the container marked hate, but it's still quite disgusting. It's actually quite surprising because I thought that the container marked ignore would be in the worst shape of all. But for some reason, it's, it's not. You know, I've seen people doing this experiment and the container marked ignore would always, in most cases, be the one in, in the worst shape. This experiment, it, it just proves to me that that our thoughts is not just an, an interior force, but also an exterior force, which means that our thoughts gives out some kind of energy, you know, vibrations when we think about something and it goes outwards. Now, you might think that there's room for coincidence, but this works every time. If you want to try it yourself and narrow down your odds, try using 25 containers or even 50 containers. This works and it shows that our thoughts literally shapes our life. It all starts in your mind. What you think and feel, you will become. If you think in positive terms, your life will be positive in every aspect of life. I guarantee it.